Let's start with your reading, Cancer. Today, we're going to look into your recent past, current energies, and near future. And then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about the messages. Keep in mind that in general readings, energies go both ways. Feel free to interpret the direction of the messages as it best resonate with your own personal situation. All right, so we're done with the intro. Let's start with your reading. Okay. Hmm. We see opposite energies throughout the whole reading so far, at least. We see one thing and then we see its opposite. We'll have to understand why. All right. The main energy for the reading, though, the star. This is the card of hope and renewal. Time to have faith, Cancer. Time to realize that regardless of what's happening around you right now, Regardless of the confusion and doubts, you're going to be fine. You're going to be happy and you're going to come out of this stronger than you were before. It's hard to do it, to feel that way when you are in it, when you are in the middle of this. As I usually say, it's like when you are on a roller coaster in the dark. No clue what twist and turn is going to come up next, but maybe you don't need to know. Maybe you just need to adapt and start looking at this for what it is, a journey, not a destination. And it doesn't end until you give up. So let's see what this is about, because I, I think that this is going to be a very important message for you. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands. You're definitely coming from a major conflict. The conflict might have started from a situation and with a person you were dealing with, but it continued within you, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to say, not knowing how to, to handle the situation and how it would have impacted your life and your emotional state. This is something very emotional and you are looking at it as something that you need to protect yourself from. You had two opposite wishes back then. Wanting to move on, but wanting to fight for this at the same time. We'll see what this was about when we clarify. In the current energies, King of Swords, Knight of Wands, again, two opposite energies. In the present, we see that there are things happening which are starting, not yet, but are starting to create the perfect conditions for something unexpected to come in. There is something rushing in with this Knight of Wands, and it's definitely going to surprise you at a certain degree. But somewhat it connects to this King of Swords, someone instead very cold. Look at the difference of colors in these two cards. Someone who is having zero expectations when it comes to this, and someone who's not chasing anymore. And now all of a sudden, this Knight of Wands shows up. What is it? We'll have to look into it. In the near future, Four of Pentacles and King of Wands. And this is the very result of that Knight of Wands, transitioning, in fact, into the King of Wands. Someone who's going to take the lead in the situation. And there is no way that this is not going to have an impact on you. This is too strong. It almost feels like the moment of truth. The moment in which everything comes up on the surface, even the things that this person was holding back, was keeping to themselves. And at this point, the situation allows everybody involved in the situation to make a conscious decision, knowing things they didn't know before. And now they know what to do next. Very interesting. We'll see what this is about. All right, let's start clarifying and let's begin with your recent past. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, oh, Nine of Cups. 
with the Knight of Wands, there is a lot of fiery energy here and a lot of wishes, things that you were wanting to see potentially. Listen, there was something right in front of you, Cancer, that you were trying to ignore as much as possible. But eventually, uh, these are things that if you ignore, they become even bigger. And they start manifesting in different ways, impacting you nevertheless. It feels as though you kept looking into this, trying to make it work because you didn't want it to be just another failure, you know? Eight of Pentacles, you were really trying to put as much effort in this as possible. You didn't want to give up on it. But this is not a fight that you can fight alone. You need both people working like this, working like bees for the same goal. It's something that is just not negotiable in a connection. I feel that you got to a point in which you got tired of putting your heart on the line and then ending up always in the same situation, often feeling out of control when it comes to the situation or love in general, creating this loss of confidence that can impact everything, making you wonder, why does it always end up like this? Why do I always find myself in this type of situations? But the good news is that this is something that you're leaving behind. So let's see what you have currently in the present and let's clarify the current position. Aha, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Five of Wands. All right, now we see what's starting to create this momentum around you, Cancer. You're starting to define your expectations, and you're really focusing on understanding what it is that for you is important and not negotiable anymore, no matter how much you love the other person with the Ten of Cups, no matter how much you care about them, when loving someone makes, makes you love yourself less, you already know that's not going to be a connection to invest into. A connection, a whatever, an opportunity, a job environment, a friendship, anything that this might involve. It's not easy because having boundaries and having a clear idea of what you want and don't want often makes you push away a lot of people, right? Makes you get in arguments and in situations that can be very ugly. And at times that can make you feel lonely. But I think you will agree with the fact that at some point in life, you have to realize that it's best to be alone than to be involved in drama and struggle with someone who doesn't deserve you. Better to be alone than to feel lonely right next to the person who claims to care about you, who claims to love you. You are a very romantic person and you need your partner to show their love through gestures, uh, words of affirmation. And it's clear that right now you're not going to overlook the other person's behavior in general anymore. It either fits or it doesn't. Now, don't underestimate this process you are undergoing because as we see, it's the exact reason why someone is now moving towards you in the near future with an awareness, with an energy that it's actually going to match your expectations this time. Let's see what this is about. Let's clarify the near future energy. Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles? Ah, I see a couple different things coming in. Emperor, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, potentially these are two different people or the same person with two different approaches, two different energies, and they will show you a first one and then the other one. The first one will make them appear very confident, very independent. I got everything I need. I don't need anything. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. But the other one instead 
is desperate to invest in this again, to connect, desperate to really be with you or just get some sort of validation from you. It almost feels like the moment of truth, as we were saying earlier, a moment where the real feelings are going to be revealed, the real intentions are going to be revealed. This is someone who hopes that the two of you can be together, spend time together. They might come in with walls at first, five of swords, trying to fight you maybe, but they'll realize that no one wins in that situation. And I feel that they will drop that energy very quickly. It definitely won't take long for them to open up fully. Whomever this is, we will look into it later, obviously. This is someone who actually comes in with balance and comes in with awareness. Someone very romantic, at least right now, who's truly going to adore you for who you are. Someone attracted to the fact that you have boundaries, that the fact that you know what you want and that you do not settle. You thought that you would push people away and maybe you did push some people away, but this is the very result of the very reason why this person at least is not coming towards you. This is very much the universe responding to your new energy, matching exactly this new you. I can't help but feeling that you might know this person already at a certain degree. I just overall see you really happy here with the Six of Pentacles because that's the equal give and take. I see you free from a burden, free to be you, not always controlling your words, your actions, in fear that you're going to turn the other person off and that you're going to push them away. With the star as the main energy, in fact, there is an overall thought of, you know what, whatever will be, will be. I don't care anymore. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to survive. Wow. This is looking really, really good for you, Cancer. So let's get into the details of it. Let's see who this King of Wands is, how they're going to show up in your life or potentially come back into your life. Let's see what you should expect in the next few months and how your world will change in the next year ahead now that you don't want to compromise anymore. I feel good about this. Let's find out the details and prepare for whatever is coming your way. If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, Cancer, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live reading. The readings are now 45 minutes long. 30 minutes was just not enough. Let's see if this time frame is going to work out better. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Cancer. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events is the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, the combination of the Wheel of Fortune with the star, this is bigger than we originally thought. This is a pivotal moment in your life, or at least you can make it that way if you know how to best handle this incoming energy, events, opportunities. You're going to get to a point where you're going to be able to look back and say, I made it. I made it through. And all the haters, all the people that didn't get me or didn't appreciate me, look at them now, looking at me. And they are looking at you. Look at this. We will get to it in a second. I feel good. And that's all that matters. And keep in mind that this is just the beginning. So let's see what this is about. Obviously, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords, you're moving on. You're moving forward. And someone is spying on you right now. So first of all, let's look into that energy out of curiosity and let's see if you should be concerned about anything when it comes to that. And then obviously we will see what this means for your future. Let's start clarifying the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. <laughs> oh, look at that. The King of Wands. Ah, I didn't, I didn't see this coming. Okay. All right. 
listen, this is actually very, very important for you because what we're seeing right here is that this person comes in, this king of wands, which I, I really, really liked, but we did see two faces to this person or better, two phases from this person. And the first one...